holy shit, the time I have left here on the planet, like it's finite. What am I doing with my life? Yep. yep. What am I doing with the rest of the time that I have here on this planet? Did you push record? <laughs> Thanks for tuning back into our second act with Paige and Silka. We are back for a third segment with our new content expert to Second Act TV, life and business coach, Donna Bond. Donna, thank you so much for staying over again. Yeah, Silka, thank you so much. We just, we just finished two, uh, what I felt were great uh, segments on, you know, the, well, spiritual psychology, which is Donna's platform for helping us recreate life after 50. And then as we were talking off camera, uh, you know, we said, gosh, this was just such great information. You know, and Donna said some stuff. I said, you know what, I want to come back and do a segment on this. Because if you are pulled, if you know, to make some changes in your life, as so many of us are, and, and this does include men as well, yes. but it is more pronounced in women. I, I, I believe that. I think you do too. What, what is happening? Where are we finding ourselves now at this point in our lives? What, what's going on, Donna? Yeah, you know, I think um, many women have really suppressed themselves for their kids, for their families, for all of the reasons that everybody knows about, right? We have put aside our own needs. We have lived according to somebody else's rules, somebody else's belief systems. And I really believe that you're not getting off this planet if you have not fulfilled what you have come here to fulfill. And I believe that it is the purpose of our life, of every single person's life, is the discovery and the delivery of who you really are, like of who your true self really is. And that's going to look a little bit different for everybody, but it's also, I think, underpinned with the idea that we are, at our truest nature, love. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, like I talked about in the first segment. But, you know, there's this awakening taking place on the planet at this time. And, you know, we, we're already seeing women stand forward and speak their truth and share their voices in a way that maybe before was even more scary than it is now. But women are really taking back their power and stepping more into leadership roles. I mean, look at how many women are running for the presidency. Yeah. You know, this is, we are living in remarkable times. Mm -hmm. And it is the reclamation of our inner authority that is driving this. And in that, we want to create a life that we love. We want to create a life that has meaning and purpose and fulfillment. And if we don't, then there's something missing, right? There's something missing in our experience. No, I, 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 well, I'm obviously totally with you. It's funny. I was going through uh, some old uh, pictures the other day, just throwing some stuff away. Anyway, there was a few college things that I kept, some books and, you know, but I found an old folder from one of my psychology classes, which was, you know, I've always been fascinated with this topic, but, and I kept it. It was a journal class that we had and I, I opened it up and, and it started off, you know, where am I going? Where have I been? I mean, I've been trying to find my purpose and passion all my life and I've always taken detours. That's why I honestly can say, I don't think I've ever really been happy. And mm -hmm. I, I totally equate that to not have not having found or delivered my purpose. And this is like the closest now where I feel like I'm finally getting there. Yeah, you are your purpose. You know, this is the thing, like we have this misunderstanding that our purpose is a job or it's a, you know, it's a career, it's an industry. You know, our purpose is the discovery of our true self. 
yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely an exciting time. And I guess what, you know, in speaking to our viewers, our audience, which of course, as you know, you know, life after 50, we, we have the older, <laughs> the part, the, what I call the best part, you know, the best is yet to come. Uh, this is such pr a pronounced topic, at least I, I know with women, but they're fearful. They're fearful to taking that first step. We talked about, we addressed that in our first two segments, but let's briefly talk about that again, is when you hear that longing inside you, as I called them, the, the voices earlier, what, what do you do, Donna? What do you advise your clients to do? Um, to take one little tiny step in the direction of where they want to be. And I heard actually speaker, teacher, coach Mary Morrissey says, even little tiny steps will take you all the way up Mount Everest. And I think that's just such a beautiful metaphor because, um, you know, like I was saying earlier, when we take one step, the next step becomes illuminated. And it's taking that first step. You know, the universe is going to inform us. We are going to be guided, whether we like it or not, whether we're open to that or not, right? The universe is either going to open the doors for us, the right people are going to appear, the road is going to show up, or the door is going to get closed in our face. These are all ways that we are being given guidance, messages to finding the right path for us. And so it's really attuning to what is life showing you and what is the direction? And, you know, we have this conditioned response because we are saddled with belief systems that have been carried down from generation to generation to generation. And we get to decide that we're here to break those patterns. We get to decide that we're going to do it differently. Yeah. You know, my father died when he was 44 years old. Uh, he was a workaholic. I never saw him. You know, when I got to be that age and then surpassed that and realized, holy shit, the time I have left here on the planet, like it's finite. What am I doing with my life? Yep. Yep. What am I doing with the rest of the time that I have here on this planet? That's exactly. And I wanted mine to look different. Yep, that's exactly what we're talking about. Uh, interesting that you bring up your dad, because I was just going to ask you, you know, uh, we, we, I don't know if we said it off camera, actually on this segment, but that this is, you know, women tend to in, indulge, not the right word, but really throw themselves into this a lot more. I think maybe just because we explore our feelings, we're more apt to explore feelings, etc. cetera. Uh, obviously this all holds true for men. Why, why do you think men aren't as prone to, to seeking this sort of transformation or, or are they? What, just briefly, let's talk about that. Yeah, you know, I think it goes back to the belief system, Silka. Um, you know, I happen to be married to a very conscious man, which is such a gift. And, you know, he's sensitive and lovely and caring and open. And he had four sisters. Yeah. So could that be why, you know, I think um, our men are expected to behave a certain way, uh, to act a certain way, to uphold a certain image. And many men fall into these patterns and they don't know how to break themselves out of it. And so I think too, you know, it's, we see people finishing off a bottle of wine every night, you know, just like unconscious behaviors that really suppress the unhappiness and the discontent that a lot of people live with because they don't know how to get out of it. Yeah. Well, we're going to be doing a lot more also uh, on that topic, the emotional intelligence, emotional availability, all that for men or men getting in touch with their heart center. Uh, for those that want it, you know, it's not something you can shove down anybody's throat, but that is Absolutely. becoming more and more in demand. So thank you for touching on that as well. We are at the end, uh, Donna. I want everybody to know that Donna is available for private coaching. She also has workshops, uh, not year round, but certain times of the year. We'll 
have your information to where people can find out about it. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, leave us with, Donna, before we sign off today? Um, yeah, I offer a complimentary discovery session for people who are interested in entering into a coaching journey. So all information about that can be found on my website on DonnaBond.com. And, you know, reach out. I'd love to hear your thoughts, viewers, on everything that Silka and I have talked about today. I love keeping the conversation open and really exploring all the different facets to what transformation is and how it works and what it looks like. Yeah. Well, by the time this segment airs, we'll have all three of them linked together. <laughs> so this will awesome. be perfect. Donna, I love talking to you. I hope you'll come back again on some other topics and we'll see you next time on Our Second Act with Paige and Selka. Thank you. For more videos on recreating your life after 50, please visit our website, secondact.tv. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Here's the button. See you next time.